Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gong. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. From our previous video, we talked about how to solve quadratic equations by factoring and also the introduction about quadratic equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start diving into the extracting the square roots, let me remind you first how to use solving quadratic equations by factoring. And this equation is that we have 4x squared minus 9. We will try to solve it first by factoring, and then later on, we will use the extracting the square root. Now, remember that in factoring, you need to convert the equation in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And this equation is already in this form. We have 4x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, by factoring, this one is under difference of two squares, meaning we can factor this out as 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Okay, the square root of 4x squared is 2x. Square root of 9 is 3. And after factoring it out, we need to equate each factor by 0. So we have 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. And the other is 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side. It will become 2x is equal to negative 3. Then divide both sides by 2. And as you can see, cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Now, what about the other equation? Transpose this equation, it will become 2x is equal to positive 3. Divide both sides by 2. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 3 over 2. To sum it up, the, the solution of this equation are positive and negative 3 over 2. Now, how are we going to use the extracting the square roots in this kind of equation? In extracting the square root, we need to follow this pattern. We have a x squared is equal to c, wherein your b is equal to, it's not equal to 0, or equal to 0. Now, for this type, of equation, as you can see, we have here 4 x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. We need to follow this pattern, ax squared is equal to 0. What will happen here is we need to transpose 9 to the other side because this constant is on the other side. Transpose nothing to, it will become 4 x squared is equal to from negative 9, it will become positive 9. So after that, Again, we're starting to use the extracting the square root. After following this pattern, we can use or extract the square roots. How? Get the square root of this. This will become 2x and this one. Square root of this. Again, we have positive and negative. So it will become positive, negative. Square root of 9 is 3. But we're not yet done because... Meron pa tayo ritong coefficient na 2. So what will happen? Divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2. Cancel. Cancel. Your x or the solutions are positive, negative, 3 over 2. And as you can see, we have the same answer from example number 1 using factoring. Now let's move on to other examples wherein we will use solving equations by extracting the square roots. So we still have different examples here. So what will happen is that we will start with number 1. We have x squared minus 100 is equal to 0. Follow this pattern. ax squared is equal to c, meaning this negative 100 must be transposed to the other side. It will become x squared is equal to 100. And after that, 
get a square root get a square root and don't forget to put positive and negative square root of x squared is x and then copy the positive and negative and then the square root of 100 this, since this one is a perfect square that is 10 and as you can see that's the answer the solutions of this quadratic equation are positive or negative 10. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given this thing. So following this pattern, transpose a to the other side of the equation. We have 9 x squared is equal to positive 8. Now, what will happen here? I will adjust the paper first. So, earlier, I extract the square root, but this time, we can do dividing by 9, dividing by 9. Cancel, cancel. You have your x squared is equal to 8 over 9. What's next? Since we already have this kind of format, Extract the square root, get the square root, and don't forget the positive and negative. Square root of x squared is x, while this one, we have here the square root of 8. The square root of 8, 8 is not a perfect square. So to, to start the square root of 8, square root of 8 is the same as square root of 4 times 2. The square root of 4 is 2, extract this, it will become 2. The square root of 2 is square root of 2. So your square root of 8 will become 2 square root of 2. So copy the positive and negative. Then for the numerator, 2 square root of 2 over the square root of 9, which is 3. And as you can see, these are the values of x. We have the first solution, which is the positive 1 positive 2 or 2 square root of 2 over 3 and the other solution is negative 2 square root of 2 over 3 okay so let's move on with item number 3 let's adjust this paper let's add this one follow this pattern okay transpose this to the other side we have 2 x squared is equal to positive 3 then divide both sides by 3 I by 2 Rather, by 2, cancel, you have your x squared is equal to 3 over 2. So, as you can see, we can extract the square root already. Get the square root, guys. Don't forget the positive and negative. And I will put it here. Square root of x squared is x. Then copy positive and negative. Now, in our fraction 3 over 2, we cannot extract the square root anymore. So it will remain as positive negative square root of 3 over 2. This one is the final answer. It will be accepted by your teacher. Don't worry. Number 4, we have x squared plus 25. Here, following this pattern, transpose this one. We have x squared is equal to negative 25. Now, extract the square root. Extract the square root. Okay? Square root of this one is x. And this time, what we have here is this. Positive, negative. Now, this is negative, guys. Hindi natin siya pwedeng makuha yung square root niya. Kasi imagi, remember, ha, kapag yung kukunan niya yung square root is, imaginary, is a negative number, automatically, it will become imaginary. So, meron tayong tinatawag na imaginary number or i. So, kasi yung square root of negative 25 natin can be factored out as square root of negative 1 times 25. As you can see, in 25 natin, it became, it became positive after natin i-factor out yung negative 1. And remember, na yung ating square root of negative 1 is equal to i. By letting extract yan. So it will become like this. So we have square root of negative 1 times the square root of 25. 
So, since sabi ko sa inyo kanina, square of negative 1 is equal to i. So, ito magiging i na lang to, And this is, square root of 25 is times 5 or 5i. 5i. Meaning here, ang magiging sagot natin is x is positive negative 5i. And this is the correct answer, guys. Okay? So, I hope, guys, you learned something from this video. And I will create a part 2 of this video dahil meron pa tayong mga difficult examples to, to discuss with about solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!